Yeah. Greetings, everybody, from Frack Free Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. And I'm here today with my young friend, Devin Haas, who's here today with you, who points to why we are here. Devin actually is a young filmmaker. They're doing a film about the disaster in the Gulf. Young children with voices. And we here are today for them. This is about our future. This is about our rights. Her right to clean air, to clean water, to a safe, healthy neighborhood, to good schools, to education, to the rights of the people of this country, not for the rights of those that sit here today and plot our demise and count their pennies. We are not, that's why we are here today. We are here for Devon and the rest of the children in Dimmick and Washington County, Tawanda, and the mountaintop removal communities of West Virginia. We're here to say no, these are our rights. We don't have an energy problem in the United States of America today. We have a democracy problem. We have a government. We have a government that has taken our rights from us. Some two, over 200 years ago, people came to this city of Philadelphia because their grievances were not addressed, because their government told them, shut up, sit down, and take it. And they said no. They came to this town and wrote a document that said, our rights are indefeasible. Our rights are inalienable. And the power from here flows from here, and what you do in our name is done with our consent. Those are the principles of this great democracy. This is what we, this is what we fight for. This is what we pledge allegiance to, our constitutional right. And who gave them the right to lease out our parks when the Pennsylvania Constitution says at 27, that I see on t-shirts amongst the crowd, that these places are held in common by us for our use and enjoyment, for the use and enjoyment of generations yet to come, for Devon and her children and her grandchildren. So how was it that the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania in the dead of the night leased out 300,000 acres of our parkland? Did anybody get your consent? No! Did anybody come to your town and have a hearing on the matter? No! Did anybody listen to the voices which reign supreme in this nation? The no. people, did anybody listen to you? No! Are they going to listen to you today? Yeah. Are we going to make some noise as we march through the streets of Philadelphia? Yeah. Are we going to convey our outrage at the submission of our rights the subsuming of our dignity, of our ability to determine our own future. Are we going to stand up and tell them, no, you are not the king. We, the people, rule. Is that what you will tell them today? We have a long road ahead of us. Pennsylvania and the Supreme Court is going to determine whether or not communities have right to zone. And if we get a victory there, and I'm pretty sure we will, I'm pretty sure we will. Amicus Priest came in from everywhere in Pennsylvania, including Pittsburgh City Council, the Planners Association, the Boroughs Association, Township Supervisors are incensed and furious as you are that their rights were taken from them. But this is only about zoning. It doesn't say where you can still drill if you have zoning laws. It doesn't resolve the issue. It will be a great, it was a great victory in Commonwealth Court. It was, a, it was something that needed to be done. And the lies that are being perpetrated upon us on the airwaves and the talk shows mean nothing in a court of law. And when they made their arguments in a court of law and said in a hearing 
that we, the lawyers for the polka people, we spent a lot of time, money, and energy for this bill, Your Honor. Is that the litmus test for constitutionality? Of course not. So we gather today once again, as we did last year in Philadelphia, to give voice to our concerns, to send a clear message to the clowns behind us that our government isn't for sale, that you deal with us, not the bought and paid for Tom Corbett, not the bought and paid for state assemblies and town councils. You deal with us. And we are saying no, no to your lies, no to your baloney. They want, this industry wants certainty. They want uniformity. Well, so do I. So do I. And they got a lot of damn nerve to come into a court of law and say, we need certainty. So does the mill worker about his job. So does the kid who needs some certainty about whether or not they're going to get proper educations. We all want uniformity in the application of the law. But how can you have uniformity when you convey special rights to these guys and your rights are denigrated? That's a violation of the 14th Amendment. So today, we all now, and I invite you to join with us to march through the streets of Philadelphia to get ready. Are you going to yell? Yeah. Are you going to scream? Yeah. Are you going to make your voices heard yeah. at this great injustice? Yeah. Then join me in this march now. Gather now. Point yourself in the direction of the marshals ahead and be prepared to march for truth, for justice, and for freedom. And tell these damn gas holes to go to hell. Yeah. Bam.